next stitch I want to do is the <coughs> is the subcutaneous stitch. I'm going to make an decision here. Because remember, subcutaneous stitch is a stitch that's done in the underlying tissue. And as you can see in here, this is where we actually pulling together dead space under this under the skin surface so that we're not going to basically form an abscess. So since we don't have any dead space here, I've actually cut down here in the subcutaneous tissue so you can actually see there's a little bit of a slot in here. I'm going to pretend that this is my dead space right in there and I'm going to, going to sew this back up again. We have two or three different methods for this. There's a variety of different ways of doing it. I'm going to show you some of the more simple methods for doing this. And the first method is extremely simple. And this is nothing more than, than doing our standard, our favorite, our um, bread and butter stitch, which is our simple interrupted stitch. Okay? With our simple interrupted stitch, what we do is we're going to go down one side, staying outside the hole, going to grab tissue on both sides, through. Okay, so I'm down on one side, I'm going to come up the other side, grab tissue on the other side. Okay, then I actually tore through. Let's try again here. There we go. Okay, pull the skin back, pull the, my needle through, and my needle disappeared. There it is. Okay, pull it through. And I'm under the under the dermis, so I'm actually down in the subcutaneous tissue, under the dermis, and I'm just going to tie this off like I normally would a standard simple interrupted. Again, we would be using an absorbable type of suture, like a Vicryl or chromic gut, something along this line, they will actually dissolve inside the body, theoretically. You cut it fairly close, okay, and then I can go ahead here, close this up, and stitch whatever kind of a stitch I want to put across the top to finish closing this up. So this is the, one of the standard ways of doing um, a subcutaneous stitch. So I've, I've taken the opening and I've pulled it together to close up that dead space so that we will not have an area that could perhaps turn into an abscess. So that's the simplest way of doing it, just with this, like a simple interrupted. 